dear learners today we will see an example of example problem of kinetics in which an inclined plane and two pulleys are involved let us see the problem so this is the problem statement in which the system of bodies shown in figure starts from rest determine the acceleration of the bodies and tension in the string idana figure thannekunathu ee figure le rendu block a and b block a ede weight 500 newton body b ede weight 750 newton 750 newton aanu idile ee 500 newton thaalilekku hang cheyidu edukkana freely hang cheyidu edukkana ee string ile 750 newton ee പുള്ളിയിലേക്ക് അറ്റാച്ച് ചെയ്തേക്കാം ഈ ഇൻക്ലൈൻ പ്ലെയിനിൽ പാരലായിട്ട് കിടക്കുന്ന ആ പുള്ളിയിലേക്ക് അറ്റാച്ച് ചെയ്തിരിക്കുകയാണ് സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് അറേഞ്ച്മെൻറ്റ് ഇവിടെ ഈ സ്ട്രിങ് ഈ എൻ്റെ അവിടെ സപ്പോർട്ട് ചെയ്തേക്കുന്നു ദെൻ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ എത്ര തന്നിട്ടുള്ളൂ സിസ്റ്റം ഓഫ് ബോഡീസ് സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ഫ്രോം റെസ്റ്റ് ഡിറ്റർമിൻ ദി ആക്സലറേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ ബോഡീസ് ആൻഡ് ടെൻഷൻ ഇൻ ദി സ്ട്രിങ് സോ ഇതിനകത്ത് നമുക്ക് കൈനറ്റിക്സ് ആണ് അപ്ലൈ ചെയ്യുക ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് നമുക്ക് ഫോഴ്സും അതിൻ്റെ എഫക്റ്റും അപ്പോൾ ഫോഴ്സിൻ്റെ ഇത് കിട്ടണം ടെൻഷൻ കിട്ടണം ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഫോഴ്സ് നമുക്ക് കിട്ടണം ദെൻ ആക്സിലറേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദി സിസ്റ്റം ഈ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യനിൽ പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് നത്തിങ് ഈസ് ഗിവൺ അബൌട്ട് ദ സ്മൂത്ത്നെസ് ഓർ ഫ്രിക്ഷൻ ഓർ കോയഫിഷൻ ഓഫ് ഫ്രിക്ഷൻ എനിതിങ് സോ വാട്ട് വി ക്യാൻ ഡൂ ഈസ് വി ക്യാൻ അസ്യൂം ദാറ്റ് ദ സർഫസ് ഈസ് സ്മൂത്ത് ആൻഡ് ഓൾസോ ദ പുള്ളീസ് ആർ സ്മൂത്ത് വെയ്റ്റ്ലെസ് സ്മൂത്ത് പുള്ളി മാത്രമല്ല സ്ട്രിങ്ങും വെയ്റ്റ്ലെസ് ആണെന്ന് നമുക്ക് അസ്യൂം ചെയ്യേണ്ടി വരും ബിക്കോസ് ദർ ഈസ് നോ അതർ ഡേറ്റ ഗിവൺ സോ ദ സിസ്റ്റം സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ഫ്രോം റെസ്റ്റ് ദാറ്റ് വി നോ ദെൻ ലെറ്റ് എസ് അസ്യൂം ദാറ്റ് ബോഡി എ വിൽ ബി മൂവിംഗ് downwards okay body a is moving downwards that means it is having an acceleration let us assume that for the time being a is the acceleration in with which the body a is moving downwards okay so what will happen to bo uh, block b this will move up the plane with the what velocity with the what what acceleration what will be the acceleration it will be half that of a so this will be moving in this direction with the acceleration of a by 2 where a is the acceleration of body a okay then as the friction uh, in the pulley is absent or absence pulleys are absent and also the pulleys are weightless then and again here also the, the uh, friction is zero we can assume that the tension in the string will be same everywhere here it is t here it is t here also it will be t ella eduthu t ayi tension because there is no other force acting on the string okay and the angle of the plane is 30 degrees is 30 degrees so this is the question given now how can we understand that the if a is the velocity uh, acceleration of block a that is small letter a is the acceleration of block a for block b the acceleration will be a by 2 the reason is when suppose uh, this body body a is moving through say 5 cm 5 cm താഴേക്ക് മൂവ് ചെയ്യാണെങ്കിൽ ഈ പൊസിഷനിൽ നിന്ന് 5 cm താഴേക്ക് മൂവ് ചെയ്താൽ ബോഡി ബി എങ്ങോട്ട് മൂവ് ചെയ്യും ഇങ്ങോട്ട് മൂവ് ചെയ്യും പക്ഷെ ഇതിന്റെ പകുതി മൂവ് ചെയ്യുള്ളൂ
body B will be moving through 2.5 centimeters. So the reason is E pulli 5 centimeter movie and angle is string 10 centimeter string or point is saved a point at the angel E point 10 centimeter in a movie and angle is under point end abdem if they were a point at the angel under point 5 centimeter with a movie the mother E blocker 5 centimeter movie a lingle 5 centimeter on a E block movie in the angle either 10 centimeter 2.5 centimeters say Movie will do. For a demonstration of Ghana, for the correct admins love. I'll show you a demonstration. I think you can see the arrangement I have made. That is uh, 500 Newton block here, like this, the same block, and the 750 Newton block here. Okay. So, This 750 Newton block is resting on that inclined plane and when this block moves down that is block A this is block A when this moves down this will move up along the plane inclined plane okay so I have marked the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 centimeters. This is uh, actual centimeters uh, here in the vertical direction downwards. And here I have marked 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 in the upward direction along the or parallel to the plane. Let us see when I am moving this block through some distance, then how much this will be moving. As per our, our assumption, if uh, block A is moving th uh, with the uh, acceleration A, B will be moving with acceleration A by 2. Any other? Uh, that is, if A is moved through 5 centimeters, B will be moving through 2.5 centimeters. <coughs> that was our assumption. This is this uh, demonstration is just to prove that. Okay, or just to check it. Now, I will start from 0. Now, block uh, A, B is also at 0. You can see the pointer. I am slowly st starting the mo motion of block block A reach 6. Block A is at a 6 now. Now what is the distance moved by block B? It is 3. It is 3. So you can see the distance traveled by A is 6 centimeters. In the same time, distance traveled by B is only 3 centimeters. That means so you can see the setup once more. I am moving this block A through 6 centimeters and just watch how much distance is moved by block B. See now block A is at 6 and you can see block B is at 3 cm. It moved through 3 centimeters. See the other way also you can see when it is uh, moved through 3 centimeters back this block A moved through 6 centimeters. That means our assumption is correct. Our assumption is correct that is uh, block A if you assume that block A is having acceleration of A meter per second square, acceleration of B will be half that of A. Then, in the other way also it is correct because if you assume that acceleration of B is A, acceleration of B is A meter per second square, then acceleration of A will be double that of A, that is 2A. It will be 2 Okay, now let us solve the problem and I will remove this setup. <clears throat> to solve the problem, we will consider each block separately and draw the free body diagram of each one of them and 
uh, form the equations corresponding to the motion of each block using so in in uh, this case we are using newton's second law of motion in kinetics uh, in majority of the problems involving kinetics newton's second law will be used in another form of newton's second law of motion is alembert's principle so that also we can use if you want it is also derived derived from newton's second law now let us consider block a first it is moving down with the acceleration of 2a so for block a we have the free body diagram like this its weight is downwards tension t upwards moving with the acceleration 2a downwards okay now applying newton's second law of motion uh, we will consider the forces par, uh, in the same direction of motion as positive so 500 500 minus t equal to ma 500 minus t equal to ma where m a into a a okay so m a is the mass of block a a a is the acceleration of block a this is uh, according to the newton's second law of motion sigma f equal to ma sigma f equal to ma so uh, when we substitute the values for ma and a for the, for block a this is for block a so uh, it will be 500 minus t equal to ma is 500 by 9.81 into AA is 2A. A is 2A. So it will be 500 minus T equal to 1000 by 9.81 A. 1000 by 9.81 A. Let this be equation number 1. Now consider block now let us draw the free body diagram of the second body so it is uh, on the inclined plane its weight is 750 newton when we resolve this into two components along the plane that is parallel to the plane and perpendicular to the plane this parallel component will be 750 sin 30 as this angle is 30 degree correspondingly this angle this uh, component will be 750 cos 30 okay and the other forces acting on the body are the resultant I mean the, the normal reaction will be there but it is uh, not considered as we don't want to include that the friction here because it is this uh, surface is smooth so the first force is the uh, weight acting vertically downwards through the center of gravity of the block uh, this block that is block b and it is resolved into two components two mutually perpendicular components one is 750 sin 30 which is parallel to the plane the other one is perpendicular to the plane that is 750 cos 30 the other force which is acting on this uh, body is our uh, uh, arrangement is like this that is it is this body is connected like this and it is going down so on this body there are two tensions acting isn't it there are two tensions acting so we consider two tensions on this body in the upward direction that means like this there are 
two tensions, one T, second T. So therefore, this body is having two tensions at a time. So if you draw the free body diagram, it will be like this. The body is on the inclined plane, which is at 30 degree with the horizontal. It will have two T upwards. Then this is 750 sine 30 and this will be 750 cos 30. So this will be 750 sine 30 and this will be 750 cos 30. So this will be the weight acting uh, vertically downwards. So these are the forces acting on the body and we assumed that the body, uh, the other body that is block A is moving uh, downwards therefore this block will be moving upwards. So this body is moving upwards with an acceleration of it was A. The other body was moving down with an acceleration of 2A. So this is moving upwards therefore we will consider the forces along the plane. We will consider the forces on this body along the plane parallel to the plane. So as the motion is in the upward direction 2T is taken as positive. So 2T minus the other force parallel to the plane is 750 sin 30. It is in the down, uh, uh, opposite direction. So it is minus 750 sin 30 and that should be equal to mass into acceleration of this body. Mass of this body is 750 divided by 9.81 into acceleration is A. Okay. So <coughs> when you solve these two equations, we have the first equation as for that the, the this is uh, 500 and this was T. Okay, so it was uh, first equation was it was moving down it was moving downwards therefore 500 minus T is equal to 500 divided by 9.81 into 2A because this body will be moving with a 2 times acceleration of this body. So this is the two, these are the two equations that is 2T minus 750 sin 30 equal to 750 divided by 9.81 into A and to solve this we will multiply this equation with the 2 and you will get minus 2t plus 1000 equal to 500 by 9.81 into 4a. You add these two equations, you will get these two will be cancelled and what you will get is uh, 1000 minus 750 sin 30 equal to 8 by 9.81 into 750 plus 500 into 4 <coughs> isn't it so this is uh, 200 uh, 2000 so 2750 so it will be 1000 minus 750 sin 30 equal to a by 9.81 into 750 plus 2000 so 2750 so into this is a a so you will get a equal to when you solve this you will get a is equal to Two point two meter per second square. Two point two meter per second square, and using this value of a, in any of these equations, we will get t equal to two seventy two point seven two newton. So that will be the answer. <coughs>